and gentlemen, it is with that kind of fanfare that for real or woe, better or worse, we have made it to Quest for Glory 5, Dragonfire. Now, from what I understand, or what I can tell, A, this game is very different than the first four games. So therefore, it's kind of like the black sheep of the series. Think the way Mask of Eternity is considered to King's Quest series, but not as bad. Not as bad. Nowhere near as bad. This one's actually really faithful to the lore, and it's kind of fun in its own way. You'll see. But honestly, I don't think much is also said about his journey from where he just came from, which was Mordavia. It just kind of picks up. I can't really remember. It's kind of its own standalone story, kind of like an expansion pack, if you will. But I can explain it quite poorly, whereas the game itself can do it much better. Whatever. Introduction. Prepare yourself with some really crappy 3D. Silmaria was a peaceful kingdom nestled among a hundred islands until the dragon came. The beast rose from its ancient lair and plunged the land into chaos. Dragons are dicks. Seven pillars were raised and enchanted with spells from ancient scrolls. The pillars were placed throughout the kingdom. As each one rose, the dragon became weaker. This powerful enchantment drove the dragon into its lair. But remember, dragons live a long time, and once angered, they do not forget. Years of peace have come and gone, and most have forgotten the dragon's reign of terror. But there are those who do remember. And for one in particular, the past is seen as the key to the kingdom. I have seen a vision that the blood of a murdered man will break the ancient spell and free the dragon from its tomb. And as the pillars fall, dark fingers of evil will reach out across the land. I am the king of Silmaria, and I do not have long to live. An assassin has been unleashed to kill me, and an army of evil terrorizes the countryside. Silmaria must have a new leader, and the dragon must be destroyed forever. Only a hero can save the kingdom. I pray one will come in time. That doesn't get your blood pumping. It feels more like a trailer than it does for the introduction of the game. Now, there's a couple things that really bug me about that introduction. Well, first of all, there's no mention of the hero, which kind of sucks. It's like, we need a hero to come by. Well, they do say we need a new ruler, I guess, but well, whatever. That'll be explained in a second. The other thing that bothers me is that you saw that guy kind of doing his little magic fingers thing over top of that little dragon statue, and he's the one who sent the assassin to go. Yeah, we meet him, and we're not supposed to know that he's the mastermind behind this assassin. That's stupid. It gives away, like, the biggest, not the biggest plot point, because it's not a big mystery, but it gives away the... No, uh, it gives away... I don't like it. Let's leave it at that. I don't like it. Now, what I do like is playing the game. And I also like is that now, the sneaky feet, we can pull his essence out of the very ether. And there he is, Shad Snee, also known as Sneaky Feet. And it works, but we don't have, unfortunately, John Rice Davies telling us how awesome we've done. Now, I don't believe we can increase our stats beyond 400 for this game. Let me, let me test that, because our agility is the highest, so let's... Yeah, we can't let it up 400, so that's what that's where it stays. So what do we do? Everything else that was below 300, they already raised the 300 for us. And since we've been sneaking everywhere the last four games, God knows how stealth and stuff is not, like, maxed out. I, I just don't get it. Well, anyway, 
Luck is my favorite stat, so we're going to bring that up. Throwing, or stealth, we're definitely going to max up. There we go. That's pretty much it. Swimming, you really don't have to worry about because you can just, like, read a book later on, and it's going to, like, oh, that's how you swim. There's your 100 points. Doesn't really matter. So we're going to stay a lousy swimmer. Everything else is fine where it is. I don't really care. I think strength also defaults to 250 since we're not supposed to be the, uh... The swarthy type. But there we are. Rendered in glorious. Well, rendered in 3D is there he is. There's sneaky feet with his sneaky boots and his sneaky shorts and his little sneaky vest. There we go. Let's find out why we're here. It's Erasmus. So, dear boy, the reason Fenris and I brought you here is this. You are a hero. And so, in the grand tradition of all heroes, you need to go where you are most needed. That happens to be... I love how we can just sort of go anywhere while he's talking, and we're just like, uh-huh. Fascinated a short while. <laughs> all the time, you're just like, Whee! ...done or even who did it. Thus, you were summoned. Uh -huh. Silmaria needs a new king. And thus, the right of rulership is about uh, to You can be control with the mouse, or you can do, like, tank controls with WASD. But it's all about the same. Enter the right of rulership. It is the most likely way to find the villain. Hello, viewers. Hi, my name's Sneaky Feet. Hi. If you choose to accept this mission, you will need to go to the Hall of Kings to speak. Speaking of speaking, uh, I see you're flapping over here, but your model isn't. It's over here. You will enjoy Silmaria. I am certain you will meet some old friends and a popcorn machine. This is an interesting city, and these are interesting. Can't do anything with it. Are you still talking? You to stay at the most amusing inn in Silmaria. Uh huh. Would you like to go there now, or are you ready to head into danger? Okay. Um. <laughs> no, I'll just go to town. It's, it's all right with you. Oh God! What happened to your head? He's okay. Oh, and a little ball of course getting light, and here we are. <laughs> Now, the first thing you'll notice is the music in this game is absolutely gorgeous. Now, the amount of time and effort they spent into the voice acting cast of Quest for Glory 4 translated over to how they spent their time with the music on this game. And it was... Uh, it, sorry. It was composed by... I Chase something or other. I'll put his name up here so you can check him out. Wonderful score. It's actually available on CD if you want to check it out. Speaking of checking out, this is Silmaria. This is sort of a greco romantic 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 it's a very grecian romantic place is what this is so things are a little bit different there's us down here we look the same no matter what class we are cuz our face doesn't change and god pluck those eyebrows boy oh. lost our knife but there we are they can see our stats from here pretty simple you can see our options from here we can actually see the uh, the manual which is nice because this game... Oh, look at him looking all impatiently at me. All right, don't... I'm trying to show the people. Uh, somehow we already have 162 experience points. I guess that was just for going through that cutscene. Uh, I forgot what I was doing. Oh, yeah. So this is our main... So this is our bar down here. It's kind of like World of Warcraft style or Diablo. In a way, this is a very much an action RPG with adventure elements, I guess. So this is how we look at stuff. Your cursor doesn't change here because it's a Windows game. So you can just kind of look around. Knob Hill. Nice. <laughs> like a... Pe and then you have your uh, hand. We can you adjust your appearance? No. All right. So it uh, looks like a couple of things have been lost in translation here. And then we have our inventory, which makes this awful squeaking sound every time you open it. Hate that. And they were so proud of the 3D engine that everything in the game has a 3D model. And everything has a stupid sound effect to go along with it. Alright, so what survives? So, somehow already, we have drachmas. And it does not matter how much money we had in the last game, we just have 200 bucks. I hate that. Why would you spend all this time getting a system where you can integrate your old characters into a new one, and then no matter what you had, they're just like, mm, eh, whatever. Here's, here's all the standard stuff. So the leather armor, the tinderbox, which really needs to be oiled. 
It's got a piece of coal in it. We have some fruit, which I do like the sound for. I'll show you my favorite. Oh, look at are those sparkles or is that fruit flies? I don't know. The imitation blackbird that we were able to get from... I guess this... The one thing that actually carries over from Mordavio is the fact that you had the blackbird. And then we have our thieves toolkit. Which also needs to be oiled. And let's see. We can equip our leather armor. Which is nice. It does... And it does change your appearance too, which is kind of cool. And we can also equip our dagger, but we're in town, so we're not going to worry about that just yet. And... Oh, wait. I didn't show you the spells too. So what came over? So we got spo uh, Force Bolt, Flame Dart, Frostbite, Lightning Ball, blah, 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 blah. Dazzle. I like that. It, it has kept its kind of characteristic sense of humor, which I admire. The Calm Spell, which is nice, so we need to make a hasty escape. Hide Spell, which is extremely helpful. And I believe you can actually still cast spells while you're hidden. So as a thief, we'll see if that comes in handy. Detect magic. Levitation. Uh, which we try not to use if we can help it. Because we're going to use our... Oh, our, our Rogan Grapnel. Which actually I don't even think we have anymore. Hope we get it back. Protection, which is very nice. Aura, which is also nice. But it's only good for undead. Which I think is only good for one part of the game. And zappy 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 zap, which charges our weapon. Now that we got all that out of the way, we can enter this little hat hut. Hat hut. Hat. Whatever. Let's go talk to Erasmus and let's see if he can kind of fill us in on any of the details here. Um, let's kick the platform and get going. I think that's how you make it work. Ugh. There we go. Just like starting up your TV. Alright. I... Just want to get a little bit more details out of Erasmus before we really get started. And these tank controls are ridiculous. I hate them. There we go. Let's click. He that wishes to pass through me first must answer questions three. All right. What is your name? All right. I think this is like the umpteenth Monty Python reference that has been in this series so far. Sir Robin the Not So Brave. Oh no, not again, Putin Ting. <laughs> All right, well, whatever. The sense of humor maybe has taken a bit of a drop-off, but let's be honest. What is your quest? Uh, save some Mario, save money. The bullet go on... Oh, God. All right. That's how it's going to be? To find the perfect cup of tea. What was that from? That's a reference to something. Find the perfect... I can't remember. Isn't that like a, a Hitchhiker's Guide reference? I don't know. Well, let's see. To save some Mario. What is the meaning of life? And, yeah, 42. To, re <laughs> to respect great wizards before their every desire. Alright, let's... Since we're going to a wizard's house, this probably is the answer? You are correct. You may pass. Oh, Great, I walk on the magic, mystical tongue depressor of the clouds. And, oh! Erasmus, your castle's gone through a couple of changes, buddy. Let's take a look around. Oh... The turrets on this tower point in various directions to maximize tanning possibilities, perhaps? This building floats in the air! Oh, well, I guess everything floats in the air around here. Now, while the game is fully voiced, the narration is not. So, you still got me! It seems to be a dragon, doesn't look like it's alive. This tower is probably built in Australia, because <laughs> it's up, it's up... This one looks like a perfume bottle. The circular roof looks like something you once saw in a book about houses. It is the dome of the home tome. Yeah, let's just go inside. Okay. Oh, that's right. I still got the hand. I really wish the cursor changed, but what are you going to do? Eh, how do I run? Shift. All right. And how do I get them to open up again? Talkies? The dragon has a hollow sound when you hit it. It seems to be constructed of metal. Well, this being a wizardy thing. Let's see. Is there trigger? Do we have trigger? Is that a thing still? Home, zap, aura, dazzle, blah, 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 bee, bee, bop. Nope. Uh, detect magic, maybe? Cast. Probably everything. My status as a hero makes me magical. So these are not magical. Okay. I don't think there's actually a way to get inside yet, maybe? Or do I just click on the door? Oh. Ha, 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 ha. 
These huge wooden doors have metal rings attached to their centers. Heavy chains run from the door rings to a large rings in the mouth of the two dragons which flank the doors. The doorknobs are made of gold. Can I take them? Uh, let's probably not fuck with the Erasmus. Let's just knock. Let's be pleasant heroes. No? Nothing? Oh! Alright, magically begin to open. That's not magic. The dragons totally just pulled it. And what is this floating orb? I have so many questions. Where did I go? And floaty away! Uncomfortably close, sneaky feet! Oh! oh. And I went right through the camera. Where, where, oh, okay, okay, let's take a look at you. All right, Sneaky Feet, you're looking all right. Your butts look a little flat, but otherwise, I think you're doing good. Where's Erasmus and Fenris? Let's talk to them after we get some popcorn, please. I can't. Oh, I click on the popcorn and Erasmus is like, mm, come over here. Let's teach you a few things about courteousness. Oh, wait. If I right click, it works. I think it's just my game or my cursor, I guess. Alright, well, whatever. It works. The entire house is bizarre, but I want to look at the popcorn machine. That's the most interesting thing here. Whatever. Flattering painting of Fenris. Alright, fine. I can't play with that. Erasmus is a little informal about the way he dresses. No pants! It looks like he's either forgotten to wear pants or his robe is shrunk in the watch. What's that beeping? Is something about to explode? What's that? Oh God! Okay, Erasmus, Era buddy, lay off the fiber. Okay, I. Okay, I guess we're not talking to Erasmus. Oh, there he is. All right. Uh, hi, bud. <laughs> What's up? Um, actually, I wonder if I can click on myself and be nice. Yeah, let me click over here. No, on you. Alright, so I can't do that thing where I, like, greet and say hi and everything. At least I don't think. Yeah, I can't even look at myself. Not that it matters. Alright, let's see about Silmaria. Since all the trouble started in Silmaria, people have been leaving like rats deserting a ship. Hey, I resent that remark. It promotes negative stereotypes of my racial species. I am a member of Rabid. Rodents against boring idiosyncratic discrimination. Our slogan is, Rat is where it's at. Uh, A, Fenris, you sound a little different, buddy. I mean, not that I'm begrudging them from changing his voice actor. That's come to be expected, but at least kind of st stick to the original. Whatever. And what I also do like that now that conversations between two people go bam, 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 instead of having to wait for like, I'll say this, load, pause, rebuttal, you know. So, hey, I, I, it's good, I guess. The uh, rights of rulership. The rights of rulership are a series of quests designed to determine the next king of Silmaria. Interesting custom, really. He who quests with zest and bests the rest will own the throne for his home. I just can't. Fenris, I love you, and I love your, like, little puns, but if you don't say... No, never mind. I'm not gonna complain about the delivery on that one. Anyway, I was about to remake a remark, and then I forgot what it was because Fenris interrupted me. Oh, right. That's right. They literally would tell you right up front. It's like, yes, it is, a, it, is, it is a series of quests. And that's exactly what this game is. It is a series of quests. But there's a lot more to do than that. I feel like I'm being kind of hard on it, but... I love the original so much that sometimes Dragonfire just rubs me the wrong way. Would you like to hear a joke? No. I'm always happy to tell one. Uh, what style is Baba Yaga's handwriting? Alright, let's guess this I one. I didn't know she could write. Let's guess it. Of course uh, she come can. Come on. She uses cursive. <laughs> let's never come back here again. Leaving so soon? Yes. Farewell, my friend. And I hope you will enter the right of rulership. I don't really have a Gotta choice. Go, don't be late for your date with fate, mate! There you are. Oh, look at him swimming around! Oh, I wanted to try and talk to Fenris, but he just sort of phased out of existence. Fenny! Fenris? Fen I heard him materialize. Where are you, buddy? Fenris? Fenris? God, I want some popcorn now. Fenris is gone. Fen- There he is! The Fenris! Will you please- Oh, wait a minute. 
I clicked on him, now he's automatically going over here. Oh, he goes right to where he knows he is. Deliberately avoiding me. I just ignores you while he casts a spell. Okay. Well, fine. Screw you too, Fenris. I got better things to do than talk to mice. I can talk to centaurs and lions and lion tars. I really don't have much else to do than talk to rats. Click the banner of circumference and his half brother's circumstances beyond our control. Okay, all right, that's kind of funny. We've been together ever since. So, did you guys like make out and stuff as a tree? Because she was kind of girl shaped. I mean, not that I'm judging, but it's kind of hot. <laughs> 